everybody's lows are different. Everybody's highs are different. So the, the goal is to try to keep as many highs as you possibly can. Mm. You know what I mean? Have as many highs, high moments in life that you possibly can. We're all here to just, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, like what is purpose? Like what is your purpose? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a not so special guest. <laughs> not special. <laughs> um, this is my husband Dre. For people who don't know, and uh, you want to tell a little bit about yourself? No. Uh, hi, I'm Dre. <laughs> I'm Holly's husband. That's about it. Today's video is going to be our interview questions. So we have 20 questions to ask you, mm -hmm. and you have to answer as honestly as possible. Okay. All right. So first question will be: What is your biggest fear in life? What is my biggest fear in life? Mm -hmm. My biggest fear in life would be losing all of my family. Ooh, that's you know a good what I'm saying? One. Yeah. That's crazy. I mean, I, I don't know. We've always had such a close knit family. Um, even my like my immediate family with you guys, and even with my grandparents and my mom and sister and things. Just I don't know. Family's everything. Yeah. If I yeah. wasn't, if I was here without y'all. Hmm. That would be scary. That would be scary. That's a good one. Number two, what gets you excited about life? What gets me excited about life? Uh, opportunity gets me excited about life. Mm. Just the chance to be able to experience different things. Every day that you live, you have a new opportunity to just experience something different that you didn't experience the day before. Or just step out of your comfort zone, find a new pathway, and just find something that's you know what I'm saying? It's not just ordinary. Yeah, so that could be anything. Opportunity. opportunity. That could wow. be anything. That's a good one. Okay, number three. If you had to teach something, what mm. would you teach? If I had to teach something. And it could be anything. I'm not talking like science, math. Yeah. It could be compassion, forgiveness. Uh, I was going to say something. I see. I was going to say it first. If I had to teach anything, it would probably be just self-sustainability like if I could just teach people how to be self-sustainable but I think that better than that if I That's had to teach one. anything I would probably I would teach other people how to like key in on body language people's body language mm. because sometimes you know what I'm saying we I don't know since everything on social media now a lot of times we're just writing back and forth to one another when we actually get to meet people sometimes those interactions are awkward and I don't know, like, if you just, mm. if you learn somebody's body language, not only can you interpret the words that they're saying to you, but you can also interpret how you're speaking to them and how you're making them feel. If you're making that person feel uncomfortable, if you're making that person feel, I guess, you know, happy nervous. about what it is you're saying or nervous. Yeah, so yeah. that way we can better communicate with one another. Mm, I you love more so communication. When you learn somebody's body language, when you learn to read body language. It's just saying, hmm, another just a form something. of communication. Yeah, it's just something yeah. that helps. It's just something that helps. It can help you make the most out of a situation, or it can keep you from, you know, doing something detrimental. Question number four. Question number four. <laughs> what is one of your weaknesses, and what is one of your strengths? One of my weaknesses and one of my strengths. One of my weaknesses is that I like, when I try to learn something, I try to learn everything there is about it. And sometimes mm -hmm. it makes me like some people call it some people call it analysis paralysis. Oh. Like I analyze things, overanalyze things, and it creates sometimes me from like taking a step towards doing something. Oh, you know because I overanalyze it, or like, or maybe it, I, you know I might I might take too long to come to something. But I mean, it has its mm -hmm. benefits. I like right. look over everything before I do something. Most cases, and so it's usually by the time I get that to doing it, sense. it comes out very very good. <laughs> that part makes but sense. at the same time, you mm -hmm. know. Okay. I analyze and it paralyzes me. <laughs> and then one of your strengths. That was one your of weakness, my strengths. right? Yeah, that's yeah. my weakness. One of my strengths, I think that one of my strengths would be just the ability to find my way through things. Mm, navigate. You know navigate, yeah. Okay. I feel like maybe some things I've been put into in life that are expected and other things maybe have been unexpected, but I just right. always figure out a way to yeah. kind of maneuver or just navigate through things. Or if I come to like a new task or I come up with something, you know, somebody introduces something new to me. I just sometimes figure out my way to navigate through things. Yeah. But what I, I don't like, I can't navigate through like heights or anything. Oh, you know, like, like physical. Yeah. I'm not finna navigate through something I'm not trying to do. Like I'm not finna, I can't navigate my way through so you're talking a about, snake pit. So you can navigate, can navigate through life said, situations. Yo, you got to get so-and-so done in okay. X amount of time. Yeah. I felt like I love the challenge of getting something done. With it. Question number five. Question number five. 
Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Where do I see myself in the next five years? Are mm. y'all ready for this? <laughs> where do I see myself in the next five years? Mm. I plan to have... Okay. One of my goals in life is to be able to not only help myself, but help the people around me. And not only just my immediate family, but also my community. And so in five years in life, I intend to be able to have a business that not only allows my family to be in a much better position... Um, but also allows me to be able to have an avenue to give back to other individuals and give back to other people, not only from my community, but just the world in general. I think that we're all here to to help one another and to we're all here to just, you know what I mean, at the end of the day, like, what is purpose? Like, what is your purpose? You can live and be selfish and try to do something for yourself all day long and try to, you know, enhance yourself, but at the end or of the day... Or enhance your life. Yeah, too. enhance your yeah. life, yeah, but... When you're gone, what are people going to remember if you did everything for yourself? Nobody's going to remember anything about you. And so your legacy dies with you. So my intention is to allow my legacy to live on hmm. without me. So I have to do something to give back to the world. And that's I where plan you on doing something to give back to the world. And that's where you see yourself yes. in five years? Yes. All that's I'm being, being very achieved. vague in my questioning because I don't want to give anything away. That I'm I thought you was going to drop some hints. I'm not going to drop any kind of hints. Mm. I'm just going to do something. Six. Question number six. <laughs> what is your definition or perspective on mental health or a person who is struggling mentally? Whether it's anxiety, okay. depression, whatever right. your view is on that. That is a very broad question. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what is my perspective What's on like mental health? What's like the first thing that comes that to I, your it mind? comes to my mind when yeah. I think mental health. There's an old saying that says that it takes a village to raise a baby, mm -hmm. right? And I think that that's true even past being a child like as an adult it still takes a village in order to make a person productive and so i think that if anybody is struggling the first thing that you should do is try to seek help whether it be from your immediate circle and if you don't feel like you're getting the support that you get you need from that immediate circle then try your hardest to seek help out elsewhere or outside of that circle you know what i'm saying because everybody needs somebody to talk to mm. i think that humans are naturally just social individuals and so sometimes talking to somebody can make a huge difference even if you don't have a you get diagnosed with something even if right. you know what i'm saying because everybody's lows are different everybody's highs are different so the, the goal is to try to keep as many highs as you possibly can mm. you know what i mean have as many highs high moments in sense. life that you possibly can i mean don't shy away from the low moments but try to bounce back as quickly as possible yeah. and i think that if you have a support system around you that allows you to back bounce back or at least get some formation of normal whatever your normal might be you know what i mean because I, I can't even imagine that because some people's normal is just you know what i mean some people's normal is different yeah some people's normal is just completely out of what i'm experienced with or what i'm used to so yeah. i mean but just strive question number seven what are you most grateful for what am i most grateful for i am most grateful for the ability to learn because through the ability to learn, I get to learn my family members, the closest people around me. I get to learn what mm -hmm. makes them smile. I get to learn what makes them sad. And I get to learn, you know what I mean, how to create those moments with them that'll last forever in their eyes and as well as mine as long as I live. Yeah. But also just the ability to be able to go out and conquer something that I haven't conquered in the past. So just mm. the, as long as you have the ability to learn, there's nothing that you really can't do. You know what I mean? You can be That's whatever it is that you want to be. You can be. You can do whatever it is that you want to do because you possess the ability to learn. So as long as you remember that before you take on any task, it's like whatever it is, mm. you can get it. Some That's things take really time good. too. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But as long as you can learn it, no matter how much time it takes. Mm. I feel like a lot of people forget that one. Mm -hmm. Question number eight. What do you most struggle with in life? What do I most struggle with in life? Yeah. I struggle with time management. Hmm. That's what I struggle with a lot. Okay. Question number nine. <laughs> what is something you feel strongly about and why? What is something I feel strongly about and why? Mm -hmm. Like, this is most passionate. Nine. I feel strongly about just people having hope. Because I think mm -hmm. without hope, they'll never be changed. So you got to at least have hope. You know what I mean? The more people that have hope and the more people that can envision a better world, then the closer we are to reaching that better world. Mm. Look at you. Question number 10. What advice would you give yourself 10 years ago? What advice would I give myself 10 years ago? Mm -hmm. 
Damn, it was 2010, 10 years ago. I was just going into college. I would have given my, let's see. I think I did a good job at meeting people, but I would have told myself to meet even more people. Mm -hmm. Go outside of my comfort zone and meet even more people. Leverage even more relationships and develop even more connections. Because hmm. uh, when you're in your early 20s, you really don't meet people as cool. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know, like, you know what I mean? Throughout life, like, you'll still meet cool people throughout life. But when you're in your early night, to like late teens like 19s to 20 to 21 mm -hmm. you come across some really cool people where y'all can really vibe out on a different level i feel like i vibe with like majority of my friends that i was cool with from that period of time in life i'm still cool with to this day yeah so i feel like if i would have taken the time to go out of my comfort zone to meet even more people in that period of time i would have had even larger of a net of just awesome yeah. people right question number 11 is describe your perfect day which would be like Work day, personal day. Work slash personal. So describe a day that you have to work in the same day and then when you get home from work, what would it look like? Like hours, what would you be doing? What would it involve? What would it involve? Mm. A lot of things I'm not going to say here. <laughs> I tried to trap you. <laughs> mm. My perfect day would involve coming home, having something delicious to eat for lunch. Then being told that I'm gonna have something else delicious to eat for dinner. <laughs> and it's something different. <laughs> Knowing that whatever the day holds for us after I get home, you know what I'm saying, past like lunch and of course around dinner, is something that makes the kids happy, makes them smile. We get to all have some fun with one another, whatever it is that we might do, tell some jokes, play a game, whatever the case is. Everybody's happy, and then we just end off the night, you know what I'm saying, with a high vibration. Mm. My perfect day has it starts with high vibrations all throughout. Even when something negative happens, it immediately switches the vibration, ends in a high vibration. That's I a great day. I like your perfect day. Yes, it's a perfect day. High vibrations. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Question number 12. What is one activity you love to do? Mm, what's something I love to do? Play the game. I just like to be good at whatever it is that I'm doing. So that's what you love to do? That's what I love to do. I love being good at something. I love being good at stuff. Mm -hmm. I do. I do like being good at stuff. And when okay. I'm not that great at stuff, I usually don't do them. <laughs> I like being great at stuff. I like doing stuff that I'm good at. Okay. Yeah. Yo, whatever that stuff may be. Question number 13. Which is worse? Failing or never trying? Never trying. Hmm. If you never try, you never know if you could succeed. It's a loaded question. That question's already answered. Um <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, do your little failing. finger thing. That's your little finger thing. Are you gonna put some edits over it? Click clack. I don't have that much technology oh. in my editing stuff. So okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> Some people would answer with failing. I just want to hear. So question number 14 is, yes. what is your definition of being successful? So what does success mean to you? My definition of being successful. My definition of success is waking up every day and doing something that feels like it's not work. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I just want to wake up every day just excited about what the day is going to hold okay this is a dad question question oh. number 15 oh, what is dad. one thing you love about being a dad so one good thing about being a dad uh -huh. or one downside i'll answer the downside first we're going to end on positivity my right. downside is that you worry about that person you know what I'm saying? You want that person to have everything that they need in life to be happy. And you just worry about them. So there's always worry. That's the downside about being a dad. You worry. Mm -hmm. The good thing about being a dad is that you get to see somebody experience life firsthand. From the time that they mm -hmm. come out and, you know what I'm saying, start taking their first steps through the whole journey. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just get to experience it and be able to help that person balance out their lows so that they can try to maintain those highs like we said earlier. Mm, so I like that That's the that best one. thing about being a dad. Mm. 
Question number 16. <laughs> Rank these in order from least to most important and why? Money, family, career, love, knowledge, and honesty. So from least important to most important to you. Money, career, love, knowledge. No, money, career, love, honesty, knowledge, family. Money, career, love, honest. Money, Do career, most love, important. honest. It's, it's okay. <laughs> so okay, so the most important thing is is love. The most important thing is love. Love from for individuals around you. Love for just mankind in general. Love, because without love, you really don't have. You got hatred, or you yeah. have something that's just negative you know what i'm saying not necessarily negative i mean you cannot love somebody and not necessarily the negative feeling towards them but i guess that positive feeling towards them comes from love so i guess that wouldn't be there so okay. love is the most valuable thing period the next most important thing i would have to say is knowledge knowledge because you really need the know-how to really help anything else that's like on the rest of this list like you gotta have knowledge about mm. your family member in order to love your family member in a way it needs to be loved you need to have knowledge about what it is you're trying to do in terms of a career path because that makes you good at that particular career so knowledge is very 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 it's knowledge is power yeah so i would put it in number two love and knowledge kind of go hand in hand with one another because the more you know about something the more you not necessarily you you can you can grow a love for it yeah then i would have to go with family uh because you know what i mean you need your family you gotta mm -hmm. have somebody that i mean it's good to have somebody that supports you you know what i mean and family can be anything not necessarily somebody that you blood relative with it can be friends co-workers it can be you know an animal people you, you know what i mean people that you consider family yeah so family okay can be a lot of different things um and then i would say after family honesty okay all right um Sometimes you never know who you come in contact with and what that person may help you with in the future. And so being honest and upfront and just showing that you're a good individual just carries you a long way. Mm. You know what I mean? It's, it's time and place for everything. A lot of times when you stay on the honest side of things, it usually works out for the better. Mm. I would say career would be next. Uh, reason being is because career, society, society teaches us that you have to work in order to have things, which obviously we all know that that's true. But when you have a, when you take a step into, for me personally, when you take a step in towards a career, it's something that doesn't feel like work anymore. Mm -hmm. It's something that feels like something that you kind of have, it, it becomes a part of you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So to speak. So your lifestyle, what it is that you do every day, what you go through, and it's part of helping balance those highs that we were talking about with as far as your energy. And so your career is important. And lastly, money. You know I mean, I mean, money it can buy you things. It can obviously right. money can buy a little bit of happiness, but not all of it. <laughs> can't buy all of it. Yeah, can't buy all of it. It can buy a lot of it though. It can buy a lot of it. Some of it. <laughs> <laughs> but money's less least important, man. Come on now. Okay. Okay, question number 17. If you could change one thing about your life, what would it be and why? Uh, if I could change one thing about my life, I would probably say that it would be, uh, I'll probably do some more traveling before we had kids that way. Uh, because, you know, I mean, not that I can't travel now with having kids, but it's just a little more freeing. Right. You know what I mean? Not having that responsibility, being a lot younger and just going out there and seeing new places. Sometimes you just kind of, it's just mm -hmm. a little more freeing mentally. Right. But uh, I think that's one thing that I'd change. Mm, that's a good one. Number 18, what is one thing you would change about the world? One thing that I would change about the world is just, I would change, one thing that I would change about the world is hatred mm -hmm. and whatever it is that keeps people from wanting to learn about other people. Ooh. You know what I mean? Because I like when we take one. the time to, when we don't, when we choose not to learn about others our own selves like take our own route towards learning about somebody or we just believe whatever it is maybe like stereotypes or somebody else's opinion on somebody else and we don't think yeah, yeah judgment because it could be between three friends or three people you know what i mean you could be friends with somebody else and then this other person that's coming along that could be potentially a good person or a good vibe you know for you if you listen to another person's opinion about that person it can deter you from them yeah. and so just 
whatever that wall is that makes people not want to learn about others. Question number 19. Oh, you did good that time. It wasn't so breathy. <laughs> what are your top three priorities right now in this very moment? My top three priorities right now in this very moment, right now at this moment, making sure that my family is straight, um, finding uh, my way to just self, I guess, fulfillment. Okay. All right. Uh, and another priority of mine is being able to give back, being able to give back, not only to people around me, but anybody that just needs whatever it is. got to put myself mm. in a position where I can help mm -hmm. others, whatever it is that those people may need. Is that because you're so giving? Yeah, that's <laughs> why I'm so giving. Trying to help others, whatever they may need. Question 20. What would you do if a doctor only gave you five years left to live? What would you do? I'd be like, doctor, seriously? <laughs> if doctor only gave me five years to live, mm -hmm. I'd be like, dang, like I got to shake off all my fears. I'm afraid of heights. But if I only got five years, it's time to go skydiving. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got to experience some different things and push myself like past limits that I just... I haven't worked myself up to. Mm -hmm. It's just making me, it makes me feel like I need to go out tomorrow and do something crazy, but I don't need to jeopardize my life right now, y'all. Right. <laughs> but, but I just need to push myself. Like, but I don't that's know. the whole if point. If I had five yeah. years, yeah, I just need to push myself. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going head first into every and anything, but then I got a whole family, so I can't, like, take off and go backpacking across Bali somewhere. Like, I can't do that. Yeah. But I would do that if I didn't have these. These. These? These. Families. <laughs> All right, so how do you feel about those 20 questions? Do you feel like you did okay? Wow, I feel like those, I feel like there was definitely 20 of them. Were they easy? Yeah, they were, you know, they were uh, hair coming around about number seven. It started to get a little tough. Okay. Um, but then I just, you know, kept looking toward <laughs> 18 and 19, and I just wanted to oh, push through. Oh. And so okay. after I just rounded that corner, it was just daylight, okay. pure daylight from then on. And I just uh, really, really wanted to get to the finish line, but... Uh, Glad we did this today. It was awesome. It was very awesome. I'm glad you came on my channel. Oh, I did come on your channel today. Thanks yeah. for being here. Wow. This this is your channel. This, wow. This is my channel. Glad I came here today. Well, to the good people of Holly's channel, her subscribers. <laughs> see y'all later. You're going to laugh when people see this video. Mm -hmm. And right now, I may only have 60 subscribers or 70. But oh, I could have 70? I could have a hundred thousand oh. and somebody could be watching this video and they're My about bad. to laugh. Well hey y'all, all hundred thousand of y'all. All right, well everybody don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and maybe you will see this face again. And maybe you won't. Who knows? This is really my environment, so we shall see. She wants me to come back, y'all. Y'all know y'all want me to come back. I'll come back. I share the real with y'all. You want the real, don't you? There is no real. All right. Well, thank you for coming to my channel. I appreciate it so much. Mm -hmm. Everybody, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye. See y'all later. Precious. Couch. Couch. Go. <laughs> Something okay. will be done. There will be things done. <laughs> okay. I'm figure out it. Uh, Question number four. <laughs> After the cars. Mm. Correct. <laughs> mm, that's a good one. Mm. That was a really good one. Mm. Uh, okay. Wait. Alpha mental. The mental health. What do I think of it? Well, I'm glad this is a question that you have asked me. Question number nine. I did it again. <laughs> what is one of my weaknesses? Not that's the whole question. <laughs> Oh, okay, go ahead. Okay. That's Tessa. <laughs> A.K.A. potentially the end of this video. <laughs> no, that would just pause it. Whatever. People having hope. I want people to continue to you have hope. You gotta reset it because the bus went by. There's a bus. And whatever loud and engine that is. And a car, truck. Okay. I raised it. Next. Hurry up, think on the spot.
So just okay. answer the daggum question. All right, I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> question. Shit. <laughs> we don't cuss on my channel. Oh, okay. Shoot. My fault. Hopefully one of those work. Success. Let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Success. Let's talk about it here. It's going to get real. With the mopeds Success. in the background? Yes. Success. Those moped guys, they're successful at whatever the hell they're trying to do right now because they're doing it. That's what success is. Doing whatever the success. hell you gotta do oh. because you gotta do it. Okay. That's right. PSA for everybody. PSA for everybody out okay. there. It's being excited about waking up and knowing that, you know, every all right. Mm. Okay. Success. <laughs> she, she hit me with the go on, the move right along. Oh, man, you good. You wanna put it in here? No. You good. Okay. Do you, baby? It's not my channel, it's your channel. I did an introduction. Yo, channel boo boo. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Who is this guy? Somebody come pick him up. What does that mean? On the fail. Okay. We'll go yeah. Ahead. Yeah. We'll say go so. Ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to. Yeah. <laughs> she ain't going to say nothing. Why would I? I'm you right ready? there with you. Okay. We're Wakanda. Forever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, we don't make her stand outside either. We let her come in the gates. <laughs> oh, God. Somebody come pick him up. You invited to the cookout. <laughs> Somebody come pick him up. <laughs>